it breaks my heart to not be able to say anything to people in Iraq and instead have people with guns be the ones who say the most. I am very sorry and deeply hurt by this prisoner scandal and I don't think it ever should have happened. So I hope you can forgive us. When a person has becomes a mother, all children are their children. So your children who are on those films are my children and I weep. It just shouldn't have happened. That's what I have to say. I think that the, the prisoner abuse is pretty disgusting, to be honest with you. It's, there's no excuse for it on either end of, of the war. I'm not for any aspect of the war. I don't think that we should be over there to begin with. Um, I would just like to apologize for myself and all American people. It was a horrible thing that happened. We're embarrassed and unhorrified. Dear brothers and sisters, Salam Alaikum. I'm speaking to you from my heart as a fellow Muslim. I am so ashamed of what happened, and I'm especially outraged that the American guards made some of you brothers and sisters curse Islam and eat pork. This is the most shameful thing that I've ever heard of, and I want to apologize to you personally from the bottom of my heart that, uh, for, this, for these outrages to you, and I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you, and he will hold you in the palm of his hand, and he will send these perpetrators straight to hell. The people that committed these obscene acts inside the prison need to be brought to justice. They need to be court-martialed. But the key thing is accountability for the people that gave the orders. And, and they're the ones that really need to be brought to justice and to be driven from public life in this country. I think Rumsfeld should probably, I think he should definitely leave. Emotionally it breaks my heart what we've done. It, intellectually, it's hard for me to even comprehend torture. It's inhumane, you know, people are not dogs, you know, you don't put masks over them and, 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 and treat them differently just because, you know, you're American. They turn around and name the prison um, Fort Redemption or something like that. Who's, who, who's being redeemed there? I think that is not right. I find it really sickening. It's really disturbing. I would just say I'm sorry about that. It's really appalling. Insane. I'm very, very, very outraged absolutely disgusting. It's a terrible thing. Uh, I'm just really sorry. <laughs> it made my heart sink. There are scars on their bodies and they have to live with that for the rest of their life. I'm sorry. I can't believe that someone would do something like this to another human being. It was painful and I felt ashamed. Confused. Um, most of all by the smiling faces of the people. Um, committing atrocities. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed to be an American right now. I'm ashamed that we're even there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry we're even in your country, trying to, trying to go after your oil. There's no, there's no question in my mind that, that that's what our administration is after. Well, um, I personally really don't like Bush, you know? I, I think it's really wrong that he started the war. The soldiers who committed those acts have got to take responsibility. I think that you know, all the way up the command is responsible, but I mean, we're all responsible because we let Bush go to war to begin with. The average American is not like that. The average American is very embarrassed about this whole thing. We sympathize with innocent Iraqis. We sympathize with what's been happening in their prisons. And uh, we are not particularly happy with this whole idea of occupation. I am speaking as a concerned citizen of this country and resident of this country, and as a human being. As an American, um, I feel a deep sorrow for, for what my country has done to your people, and I want to express my utmost solidarity with, with your struggle against imperialism. By dealing with the prisoner abuse scandal, 
we're being detracted from the main issue, which is we don't belong there in the first place. No, nothing we said for the, our reasons of being in Iraq come true. There are no weapons of mass destruction. There's no, there's no direct causal relationship between terrorism and the Twin Towers and the Iraqi people. And most certainly, and most certainly, if, if, if our issue is, well, we don't like the militia and how they dealt with the people, then how do we explain the prisons in Iraq? We obviously didn't stop the torture of innocent Iraqis. In fact, we took over the torture of innocent Iraqis. I ain't gonna lie, at first I was for the war because I thought it was better for the Iraqi people, but now that this has happened and you know, there's so many innocent people getting killed, I don't think that I'm not for it anymore. I'm not, and that's another reason why I'm not in the military anymore, because I just don't agree with what's going on. There is a significant culture of resistance, I think, in the United States, and I, I would like to support that and to see that grow and have more of an impact on, uh, on the national, on national sentiment. You know, hopefully, freedom and justice will come to them, but, you know, on their terms, not on ours. Now that we're aware of the abuse that's happening, I hope that the American people can change things. I hope that we can start making a difference by the elections that are happening in November. And we're not behind Bush. Not at all. I'm going to seriously pray for you, and I hope you will for me, and, um, and, and to all of you that is suffering and that is going through a hardships. I feel for you because I'm suffering. Even though you may look at me, and I'm not, but deep down I am, be, you know, because when you heard, I heard too. To the Iraqi mothers. Salaam alaikum. Um, and this is pretty much everything you get. And if you do not like state spinach, then you're... I'm ashamed. I'm really ashamed of what you've experienced uh, through our governments over the last three or four decades. I'm ashamed of the fact that uh, we've gone into your country and continue to brutalize you uh, to a large extent because there was no plan for peace. You know, there was no, uh, our government just planned for war and didn't plan for peace and created a, and our government created uh, further chaos and you didn't deserve it. Uh, while nothing can, can erase that reality, uh, there are many of us who are trying to create a new reality so that uh, one day, uh, your children and my children can join hands as part of a world community uh, and work uh, and live together in peace.